As strong bank earnings and stellar economic data do push the market to new highs here today, should you continue to ride this rally? Let's bring in Jim Paulson. He's chief investment strategist at the Luthold Group. Jim, thanks so much for being here with us. Let's pick up on where Bob left off talking about the earnings. And like he said, we only have a handful so far. Some of these big financial names, though, have really blown it out of the water compared to the analyst estimates, albeit maybe some noise in the numbers, as Bob was pointing out. What can we read so far about what we've heard? Maybe look at the commentary rather than the numbers from some of the bank stocks, for instance. Yeah, I, I think that uh, to Bob's point, you know, we, we essentially are, have gone, Courtney, from a depressionary bust, and then within 12 months, we're in a wartime boom. And I just think we've we've rarely had this type of quick change in our history, and it's difficult for anyone, anyone on Wall Street, companies themselves, to keep up with just how how fast we've gone from death warmed over to the biggest one of the biggest booms in our history, and it's showing up in economic reports. This morning's retail number. Numbers. Everyone expected them to be a blowout, and the reports were even a blowout of the blowout estimates. And I think we're seeing the same thing on Wall Street with earnings reports. And I agree with you. I'm not sure how significant they are. We, everyone expected that they'd be great. What really matters is are we going to see more and more CEOs talking more confidently about the, about the rest of this year? And maybe not even bringing guidance, but just bringing some more confident uh, uh, statements about where they see their business headed. And I think I think that's part of the uh, undertow here in the stock market is people are just being forced to constantly upgrade their estimates of the future. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.